relationship. <laughs> I like my singleness to focus on my relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, if I was dating, I would be dating out of Crossville, Tennessee. Because I don't like the cringy people here in Crossville, Tennessee. The cringy freaking guys here. But I'm not even looking for dating. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for anything. I like my single life. Focus on my relationship with God and just travel around the whole world. I will travel around the city that God blesses me with. People I put in my life that wants to help me in life. I'm focused on going to church and my Bible readings. Um, I'm not really not focused on. I'm focused on making my friends, but I want to make my friends in a Christian church. So yeah, there's not really church options options here. Like I said, um, it's like close mining like King James Version only churches in Crossroads, Tennessee, which. I don't go to that. Like, I'm not dominated in any domination or anything like that. Um, I'm more of the, like, staying to what the Bible says of biblical standards. If I go to church, I go to, like, they don't have any freaking reformed churches there. They have Baptist churches I can go to. But it's like kind of far. So it says, you're right that the Bible calls us not to act out in fear. All of our actions should be motivated by love. Both love for God and love for our neighbors. Speak the truth and love when addressing injustice or conflict. Do so graciously for the purpose of reconciliation, not condemnation. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. Overcome evil with good, respond to harassment or unkindness, not with retaliation, by blessing those who mistreat you and praying for their change of heart. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Appear to our higher authorities if proper legal channels for complaint and due process assist make use of them. Automatically place your hope and trust in God, not earthy systems, to bring about justice in his timing. First Timothy chapter two verse one four. Leave room for repentance where racism cannot be condoned or left undressed. <laughs> You're absolutely right to point out that the Bible tells us not to fear anything and to trust fully in God. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and uphold you with my righteous hand. Psalms, Psalms chapter 56 verse 4. When I'm afraid I put my trust in you and God whose word I praise and God I trust and I am not afraid. What can man do to me? Second Timothy chapter one verse seven, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, intimidating, but of power, love, and self discipline. John chapter fourteen verse twenty seven, peace I leave you with my peace. I give you I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You're completely right as Christians we are called to walk by faith, not by sight, or feelings of fear. Our hope and security is in God alone.